Using the CTS-6010, it's very easy to check that a radio is transmitting properly without a direct connection over the air. First, from the CTS-6010 launcher, we'll enter manual testing. Next, select tests, which enters our semi-automated mode. To test our UUT's transmitter, we will select the transmitter test. Next, we will configure the CTS-6010's RF receiver to match the carrier frequency of the transmitter. And then we'll be able to visually see on this frequency spectrum when the push to talk is enabled. And this shows that the radio is transmitting. To check an antenna, from the CTS-6010 launcher, we will select manual testing. From there, we'll enter the tests, which is our semi-automated mode, and select the antenna and cable test. Then we will set our start and stop frequencies to include the frequencies we're interested in. And then we will perform a calibration. Select the Cal tab. To calibrate the VNA, We'll use the included calibration standards. First, we'll start with the open calibration standard. Click open. Next, we'll use the short standard. Click short. Finally, the load standard, click load. And then after clicking all three calibration standards, the apply button is enabled, click apply. And from here, we're able to move on to the VSWR screen to grab our VSWR sweep. We'll attach the antenna. And just click measure. The CTS-6010 currently has test program sets written to support radios from Harris, Talus, Trellisware, General Dynamics, and Raytheon. And it also has capabilities to support other OEMs. Because the CTS-6010 is a Windows-based system, there are lots of possibilities to what can be downloaded. For example, radio OEM firmware updating tools, tuning tools, technical manuals, or any Windows-based application. You can also download any help or training videos, as well as customer or company-specific work instructions or procedures. As you can see here, we can exit the launcher, which brings us to the desktop.